Manchester United confirmed that Mathijs de Ligt has joined the club, subject to registration. The Netherlands International has signed a contract until June 2029, with the option to extend for a further year. At the age of 25, de Ligt has already won the league title in three countries with Ajax, Juventus and Bayern Munich. The former Copa Trophy and Golden Boy winner has made 324 club appearances and has 45 international caps. Mathijs de Ligt, born August 12, 1999, is a Dutch professional footballer who plays as a centre-back for Premier League club Manchester United and the Netherlands national team. Considered one of the best defenders in the world, he is known for his strength, leadership, aggressiveness, tackling and aerial ability. De Ligt made his debut for Ajax's senior team in September 2016 in a cup game against Willem II. He scored from a corner after 25 minutes, making him the club's second youngest goalscorer ever behind Clarence Seedorf. On May 24, 2017, De Ligt became the youngest ever player, aged 17 years and 285 days, to appear in a major European final when he started against Manchester United in the Europa League final. In December 2018, he won the Golden Boy Award given to the year's best footballer in Europe under the age of 21, becoming the first defender to do so. The following season, De Ligt helped Ajax capture a domestic double and reach the semi-finals of the Champions League. De Ligt's performances earned him a move to Serie A club Juventus in 2019, shortly before being awarded the Copa Trophy for world's best under-21 player of the year. He would go on to help the Turin side retain the league title in his first season and reclaim the Italian Cup in his second. After three years in Italy, De Ligt would then join Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich in 2022, again capturing a league title in his inaugural campaign. In 2017, De Ligt made his debut for the Netherlands at the age of 17, making him the youngest player to start for the national team since 1931. He featured for the side at UEFA Euro 2020 and the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Club career At Ajax De Ligt joined the Ajax Youth Academy when he was nine years old from his local club in Abkade, just outside of Amsterdam. At first, the coaches at the youth academy thought he was too slow and out of shape, but he was given a chance to develop in the academy and went on to prove his quality. 10. He made his debut for Jong Ajax on August 8, 2014 in an Ear St. Divisie game against MN, playing the full game. During the season, De Ligt played in 17 matches for Jong Ajax. On September 21, De Ligt made his debut for Ajax's senior team in a cup game against Willem II. He scored from a corner after 25 minutes, making him the second youngest goal scorer ever behind Clarence Seedorf. Ajax won the game 5 0. On October 24, Ajax announced through Twitter that De Ligt had been promoted to the senior squad. De Ligt quickly established himself in the first team after being promoted and went on to play in 11 league matches and 9 in the Europa League. On May 24, he became the youngest player ever, 17 years and 285 days old, to play in a major European final when he started against Manchester United in the 2017 UEFA Europa League final. After the sale of Davinson Sanchez to Tottenham Hotspur in August 2017, De Ligt became a first-team starter. He was named the youngest captain of Ajax in March 2018 after injury to club captain Joel Veltman. 15. De Ligt appeared in 37 matches in all competitions and scored three goals. He started in all of his 31 league matches and played 90 minutes in all but one of them, he was substituted in the 33rd minute against Vitesse due to an injury, dot due to De Ligt's performances for Ajax, he was linked with many of Europe's top clubs. On December 17, 2018, De Ligt won the Golden Boy Award, becoming the first defender to win the award. On February 13, 2019, De Ligt became the youngest ever captain in a Champions League knockout game at 19 years and 186 days old, in a game against Real Madrid. On February 27, 2019, 
he played his 100th official game for Ajax in a 0-3 class seeker win against Feyenoord in the Dutch National Cup, becoming the youngest Ajax player ever to reach this milestone. On April 16, 2019, De Ligt scored the winning goal in the Champions League quarter-final against Juventus to send Ajax on to the semi-finals of the competition for the first time since the 1996-97 edition of the tournament. His goal also saw him become the youngest Dutch player to score in the knockout stages since Norden Wouter in 1996 and the second youngest ever defender to score after Joel Matip. At Juventus On July 18, 2019, De Ligt signed for Serie A champions Juventus on a five-year contract for a fee of €75 million, Euros, to be paid in five annual installments, with additional costs of €10.5 million. Euros. He made his official debut for the club in a 4-3 home win over Napoli in Serie A on August 31. On November 3, he scored his first for the club in a 1-0 away win over cross-city rivals Torino in the Derby della Mole. At Bayern Munich on July 19, 2022, De Ligt signed for Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich on five-year contract for a reported initial fee of €67 million, Euros, potentially rising to €77 million Euros in add-ons. On August 21, he scored his first Bundesliga goal in a 7-0 away win over Bochum. On March 8, 2023, at the Champions League round of 16 second leg, he made a goal line clearance against Paris Saint Germain, after goalkeeper Jan Sommer lost the ball under pressure, to keep the goalless draw and score a lean at 1 0 on aggregate. The match ended in a 2 0 victory and qualification to the quarter final. On April 8, he scored the only goal from 25 yards, 23 m, in a 1 0 away win over Freiburg four days after a 2-1 defeat against the same opponent in the DFB Pockel quarterfinals. That strike was voted Bayern's goal of the month in the Bundesliga. He was also voted player of the month in both March and April. In the first half of the 2023-24 season, he sustained recurring injuries in his right knee, which led to him being surpassed by Dayat Yopamkino and Kim Min Jae in the starting lineup under coach Thomas Tuchel. During the latter part of the season, De Ligt forged a robust partnership with newly acquired Eric Dier, contributing significantly to the club's advancement in the Champions League. Manchester United In the 2024 summer transfer window, De Ligt attracted substantial interest from several top European clubs, particularly Manchester United. On July 9, 2024, it was reported that De Ligt had agreed personal terms with the Manchester side and a transfer looked likely. It was reported a transfer worth an initial €45 million Euros plus €5 million Euros in bonuses was agreed between the two clubs. On August 13, Manchester United confirmed the transfer, with De Ligt signing a five-year contract. International Career On March 25, 2017, De Ligt made his debut for the Netherlands national team in a 2-0 away defeat to Bulgaria during 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification. At the age of 17, he became the youngest player to start for the national team since 1931. He was sent off in his second appearance, a 2-1 friendly win over Morocco on May 17. During the group stage of the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League, De Ligt started and played 90 minutes in all four matches against Germany and France. On March 24, 2019, De Ligt scored his first goal for the Netherlands in a 3-2 loss to Germany during UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying. In May 2019, De Ligt was named in the Netherlands squad for the inaugural Nations League finals. On June 5, 2019, he scored a header in a 3-1 win against England at the semi-final stage. Four days later, he started alongside captain Virgil van Dijk in central defence as the Netherlands were defeated 1-0 by hosts Portugal in the final. De Ligt was a member of the Netherlands squad for UEFA Euro 2020. After missing the team's opening match against Ukraine, he made his tournament debut against Austria on June 17, 2021. He was sent off for handball in the Netherlands 2-0 loss to the Czech Republic at the round of 16 stage on June 27. 
On June 14, 2022, De Ligt captained the Netherlands for the first time in a 3-2 win over Wales in the 2022-23 UEFA Nations League. In November 2022, he was named in the Dutch squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, where he started the team's opening match against Senegal and appeared as a substitute in a 3-1 win over the United States in the round of 16. After being initially named in the Netherlands squad for the 2023 UEFA Nations League finals, De Ligt was forced to withdraw due to a calf injury and was replaced by Daily Blind. On May 29, 2024, De Ligt was named in the Netherlands squad for UEFA Euro 2024. However, he did not feature in any match throughout the tournament. Style of play De Ligt is considered by pundits to be among the most highly regarded young prospects in world football, as demonstrated by his victory in the 2018 Golden Boy Award which is assigned to the most impressive young player in European football. Having played as an attacking midfielder in his youth, De Ligt is both a physical and technically gifted right-footed centre-back, who is known for his clean tackling, anticipation, marking, height, strength, speed and accurate passing, which enables him to start attacking plays from the back. His height allows him to be a major threat from set pieces, while his strength means that he is unlikely to be pushed off the ball, particularly in aerial duels. His playing style is often compared to that of Barcelona defender Gerard Pique, he has also been likened to Jan Vertonghen, due to his similar forward surges, a propensity to create an extra man in midfield, and calmness on the ball, and to compatriot Ronald Koeman, courtesy of his powerful shot and body strength. A 2019 UEFA.com profile described De Ligt as a natural leader who is an elegant two-footed central defender. Dominant in the air, he is blessed with strength, fine distribution, and composure, and is able to play out from the back thanks to his confidence in possession, while his intelligent positioning helps him deny pacey forwards. With his ability to read the game, he could even play in midfield. His leadership also stands him out, he was 18 when he was made Ajax skipper. That same year, Paul Wilkes of The Independent wrote that De Ligt's ability to play out from the back and organize his fellow teammates are valuable commodities in a time when the lack of quality defenders has been highlighted. Former Liverpool and England defender Jamie Carracker praised De Ligt for his physical attributes and leadership qualities. Carracker also said he plays like he's 24 or 25 indicating maturity and strength. Of De Ligt, former Netherlands centre-back Jap Stam said, he's got composure on the ball, he's aggressive tactically, he sees the game, he reads the game well and he's got that driving force for himself as well in what you need to achieve and where you want to go to. Upon signing with Juventus, Marcelo Lippi, one of the club's former managers, said of the defenders' precocious performances, I've seen plenty of greats, like Alessandro Nesta, Franco Bersi, Paolo Maldini, Ciro Ferrara, Fabio Cannavaro, and Marco Materazzi. I've never seen anyone like that at his age. In 2019, Giacomo Caiocciola described De Ligt as a complete and talented young defender, saying that although he is not exceptionally quick, he possesses excellent positioning and an ability to read the game, among his other technical and physical qualities. Despite his talent, he has at times come under criticism in the media for being inconsistent due to his tendency to commit occasional lapses or errors. In October 2019, his Juventus defensive teammate Leonardo Bonaxi said he believes that De Ligt will overcome these weaknesses with time, as he matures and gains more experience with age, and successfully adapts to the team's new defensive strategy under manager Maurizio Sir, who uses a zonal marking system rather than man-to-man -man marking. Personal life. On June 7, 2024, De Ligt married his longtime girlfriend, Aniki Molinar, a Dutch model and daughter of Kij Molinar. Mathijs De Ligt has played 53 matches throughout the course of his career in the Bundesliga. Of these, he has won 35. He has played all the matches of his career in the Bundesliga as a member of FC Bayern München. Here, Mathijs De Ligt has put a total of five balls in the net. 
he took the German Championship title in 2022-23 while playing for FC Bayern München. From defensive prodigy to full-blown superstar, Mathegis de Ligt has already achieved so much in the game. Bundesliga.com traces the life and times of the Bayern Munich and Netherlands centre-back. Although born in the province of Leiderdorp, de Ligt moved from the southwest of Holland to its capital at just nine years old in order to join Ajax's famed academy. One of the most revered footballing schools on the planet, it has produced, among others, players such as Johan Cruyff, Marco van Basten, Dennis Bergkamp, Christian Eriksen, and Frankie de Jong. The impact of the Ajax Academy was significant on De Ligt and he told The Guardian that he continues to carry its teachings with him today. The discipline to work hard, to be nice to people, to have respect, he said of the values he learned there. They're big on education at Ajax, and that's something I still take with me everywhere I go. De Ligt may not quite be the messiah, but he is a very golden boy. Aged just 19, he succeeded Kylian Mbappe as the 2018 Golden Boy, beating the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold to the trophy and becoming the first defender to ever win the prize. France football handed him the Copa trophy as the best U21 player on the planet a year later and De Ligt remained grounded despite expectations soaring. There was a lot of things coming at me at a young age. A lot of talking. Every little mistake became something really big. But the most important thing is to see the big picture, he later said in his aforementioned interview with The Guardian. When you win the Golden Boy Award, that gives some pressure. But as a player, you have to love the pressure. Because it says you are something good. Seeing it this way gives me some space in my head. It's little wonder Delict was being showered in praise and accolades from a young age, after all he had broken a number of records before being crowned the most exciting young player on the continent. He became Ajax's youngest ever full debutant when he started against Willem II in a cup match just a month and nine days after his 17th birthday, and marked the occasion by finding the back of the net after just 25 minutes. At the time that made Delic the club's second youngest scorer behind just Clarence Seedorf, and he went on to be the youngest player to captain Ajax and to lead any team in a UEFA Champions League knockout match when he took the armband against none other than record European conquerors Real Madrid at 19 years and 186 days old in February 2019. Delict also took the record for the youngest player to ever feature in a European final when he started against Manchester United in the 2016-17 UEFA Europa League final at the age of 17 years and 285 days. He then went on to reach 100 appearances for Ajax at a younger age than any other player and his long list of record-breaking efforts didn't stop at club level. Handed his senior debut for the Netherlands against Bulgaria in 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifying, De Ligt became his country's youngest full debutant and youngest player to represent the nation since 1931. He has gone on to collect 45 caps for the Orange and started the final as Netherlands lost to Portugal in the inaugural UEFA Nations League in 2019. He scored his second goal for his country against England in the semi-finals, while he opened his Netherlands account against Germany in March that same year. Euro 2024 is his third major tournament after Euro 2020 and the 2022 World Cup. Now well known as one of the premier centre-backs in the game, De Ligt could well have been plying his trade further forward, in the centre of midfield for both club and country. Until I was 15, I was an attacking midfielder, he explained to UEFA.com. I played a lot in midfield, I scored some goals, gave some assists, and then suddenly they said to me it would be better for my career to go one position back, to center back. At the beginning, I was thinking, I don't like being a defender, but now I'm starting to realize that the way I was brought up like a midfielder is helping me. So I'm really happy that this was the development I had to go through. With that in mind, it may not be the biggest surprise that young, E.R., De Ligt once channeled Cristiano Ronaldo rather than Franz Beckenbauer or Mats Hummels in childhood kickabouts. As he recalled in an interview with Dutch Outlet 6, I always wanted to be Cristiano Ronaldo when we were playing football in the garden. 
that was especially in his time when he played at Manchester United. My first football shirt also belonged to him from that time. There have indeed been some stunning moments when Delic showcased his attacking technique in a Bayern shirt in spectacular fashion. A thunderous drive against Freiburg in April 2023 earned him Bayern's Goal of the Month award while a sublime volleyed assist against Lazio in the UEFA Champions League last 16 in March 2024 saw comparisons raised to Marco van Basten. Clearly, all that work in midfield and ability on the ball has come in handy for De Ligt and he has developed into a Rolls-Royce centre-back, with all the tools at his disposal to spearhead the modern footballing revolution. But don't let that fool you, he loves getting his hands dirty, too. The dirty work is so important, he said to the Guardian. People call it dirty, but I find it really nice. To head the ball away, to win duels. I'm quite an old-school defender in that way. You have a lot of defenders now who just stay in position, cover the spaces. But I also like to defend one-on-one, -on -one, battle against the opponent. As you can see from Ajax's desire to play young players in different positions, Delict's ability to combine the old school with the new is no accident and there is further evidence in his most recent playing partners. Not only does Delict play alongside Virgil van Dijk for his country, but he had legendary Italian duo Leonardo Bonaxi and Giorgio Chilani for company at Juve. It's some pedigree for Delict to be learning from, as the player himself recognizes. Virgil is a player who has experience in the top leagues and, of course, you would want to learn from him. It's very helpful playing alongside him in the Dutch team, he was quoted by Goal as saying, while he added to the Guardian, Giorgio is now 37. And right now he plays like he is reading a book. De Ligt has had to deal with high expectations throughout his entire young career and it's easy to forget that he's still only just about to turn 25 and his ability to deal with those pressures and demands for success is standing him in good stead at Bayern where, like in Turin, success is not just desired, it is demanded. The Dutch defender won the Bundesliga title in his first season with the Bavarians, 2022-23, to add to his league and cup winners medals in both Holland and Italy. The most important thing for me is to win, he said. At Juventus, if we win 1-0 and play bad, honestly I think everybody will still be happy. And if you play amazing and lose 2-1, you're not happy. Every team has a certain DNA, that's different in every club. Over 70 competitive appearances into his Bayern career, De Ligt has shown with his defensive drive and five goals just how determined he is to succeed. Some of his honors. At Ajax. Eredivisie. 2018 to 19 KNVB Cup 2018 to 19 UEFA Europa League runner up 2016 to 17 at Juventus Serie A 2019 to 20 Coppa Italia 2020 to 21 runner up 2019 to 20 2021 to 22 Supercoppa Italiana 2020. At Bayern Munich. Bundesliga, 2022-23. DFL Supercup, 2022. With Netherlands. UEFA Nations League runner-up, 2019. At individual level. ABN AMRO Future Cup Best Player, 2015. Copa Amsterdam Best Player, 2015. Ajax Talent of the Future, Shock Sword Award 2016. UEFA European Under-17 Championship Team of the Tournament, 2016. Ajax Talent of the Year, Marco van Basten Award 2018. UEFA Europa League Squad of the Season, 2016-17. UEFA Champions League Squad of the Season, 2018-19. Eredivisie Team of the Year, 2017-18, 2018-19. Uon Crook Trophy, 2017-18. Dutch Footballer of the Year, 2018-19. Golden Boy, 2018. FIFA FIF Pro World 11, 2019.
IPS Men's World Team, 2019. Copa Trophy, 2019. UEFA Team of the Year, 2019. Bundesliga Rookie of the Month, April 2023. Bundesliga Team of the Season, 2022-23. VDV Bundesliga Team of the Season, 2022-23. Thank you for watching this video.